have a whole load of steel here including some two inch uh, square tube that I plan on using to help me organize the shop a little bit over the Christmas break um, I've got a couple of uh, a couple of benders that are just taking up space on my bench and I'm gonna build a mobile stand for them Please excuse the reused welding footage. I had this really cool segment that I filmed um, about the design of the tripod on the stand and why I decided to put um, the dies on the stand and then welding it all together and the gusset that I use, which is different than the gusset you see here. But I have no idea where that is. It's not on any camera chip. It's not on any phone. No idea. Sorry about that. Really the only consolation is I did, did take some pictures of some welds I did on the bender mount itself. I've uh, got the first coat for parts on the bender stand out in the sun drying. Let's take a look at the stand itself. As you can see I have applied a, a professional paint job to this bad boy. Um, I did use self etching primer and it's got a couple coats of black on the base. And I did wrap the wheels in tape to keep from painting them. <laughs> Alright, that's the final coat on the base. So it's got three coats of black and then I did, did drop a little bit of red on the base as well as that top piece. So Here we have my tubing bender in its new home. So off of my workbench from being permanently mounted there onto the new stand. Um, as you can see it's not fully populated yet but uh, the paints cured for a couple days and uh, it's situated so now I'm going to put the eight or so dies I have on and as a hat trick I have picked up two new pieces for this one is the swag off-road uh, conversion kit for air over hydraulic so no more ratcheting this um, in order to bend pipe and that's why I can move it to this mobile stand instead of having it permanently mounted on something beefy. Um, I also picked up an air over hydraulic jack from my friends at Harbor Freight. So uh, let's see, see how this all goes together. And fully populated with uh, all but two of the bending jigs. I apparently didn't put enough posts on there. I may have miscalculated all the crap. Um, I've got another two of the dies that I need to uh, I need to make room for. So I think I'm gonna pop uh, some more posts in here. Maybe a couple small ones right there. <laughs> Forty minutes later, and at least two disassemblies because I didn't read the directions. Read the directions, read the directions, read the damn directions. Anyway, everything was really, really nicely included in the swag kit. And the directions, when you read them, are really good. Uh, every, every bit and bob is explained. And it really wasn't that big of a deal to, to install everything. So let's, uh, let's give her a go and I'll show you. Kind of... Um, Get here. I'm actually going to take this off, drop this down, and put a foot pedal on it. But for now, it's fine. Now, just to be clear, remember this uh, this T junction here. So that is so I can un undo the set screws, set bolts, and take it off and mount it not just horizontally but vertically. Once you get your tube uh, installed inside the bender, make sure that you oil the living bejesus out of it. Uh, you can use a uh, tube lube, but once you think you've used enough, uh, use some more. Because if you ever get tube, especially square tube, stuck inside a die, it's, it's super unfun. Ask me how I know. And there we have it. So, piece of uh, one inch square tube 
bent on both sides. Uh, a little over 90 because of backlash, but um, it's going to be um, a ladder rack, actually, um, over on the side of the house. But easy peasy. When you get the bender kit, it comes with a an aluminum knob. Uh, my advice is to get the 3D printed knob from Swag Off Road. Um, it just it's easier to put on. It's universal. It, it's a better option than the uh, the aluminum knob. Now all of that uh, effort that went into building the stand, it wasn't that big of a deal. Maybe like three hours of cutting and welding, and another hour or so of paint and that sort of thing. Uh, I actually, as I finished painting it, found another option. If you don't want to do this much welding and fabricating and thunking and measuring and all that, um, I got a pretty good additional option for you that's mostly off the shelf with maybe, I don't know, 10 inches of weld that if you don't have a welder, I'm sure that you can find a, either a buddy or a shop to do it for you. But l l let me show you what, what I came across. An engine stand would have been easier. <laughs> I saw on the forums over at Pirate 4x4 and at y Yoda forums, people taking um, the engine stands and converting them with just a couple of welds to the bender. And that way they can rotate it. They didn't have to put all that time and effort into a welding it together it was just done and good to go uh with with much less effort than i put into it it's really a better way to do it it really is by a better solution i mean as far as building the stand <laughs> it'll save you a little bit of welding i still like the fact that all my dies are on the stand so you will have to punch a few holes and and weld some bar in if you if you want to mimic that aspect of it but the uh, the rotating feature is it, that's a much better uh, way to do it than than my unbolt it, take it off, turn it 90 degrees, bolt it back. Um, that's really a smooth, uh, smoother um, rotation for uh, for the bender. Thank you for following along with this build. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, if you think you need a bender, if you definitely need a bender, check out JD Squared. I'm, I'm not sponsored or anything. I just I use their tools and they they just work. Uh, now I'm going to say that the Rogue Fabrication Bender is, is a good bender. Um, th there's, there's four or five other ones out there that are all good benders. For me and where I live and what I do, uh, the decision came down just to availability of dies. Um, I, I do use more than just a couple of dies, so um, that, that was what, what sealed the deal for me. Again, thank you for watching this video and if you would do me a big solid and go down and click and um, subscribe, maybe share the video, uh, somebody that is interested in a bender or building a bender stand. So thanks, I appreciate it.